What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. In today's video, we're gonna be mixing it up. We're actually gonna give you guys some educational content. We're gonna be dropping our five biggest tips that you need to know when it comes to reapping your runes on your Summoner's War account. Now, before we get into that though, I do wanna throw it out there. I gotta address the elephant in the room, right? Uh, out of all the people that are watching this video, okay, uh, as you guys can see, we have a blackout screen. <laughs> out of all the people that are watching this video, okay, uh, there is about two thirds of you that are actually not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys can do me a favor, this is the kind of content you wanna see, let me know by liking the video and more importantly, subscribing to the channel so you guys can get notifications here uh, when the next video drops, okay? Now, as you guys can see, we're actually on a subscriber account here. We're on Light's account because he actually has a fair amount of reaps here to go ahead and utilize. But uh, again, we're not gonna do all of them today. I figured we could do a couple of here. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, I think the first thing that I wanna tackle here when it comes to reapping uh, your runes here is basically uh, taking the time to review your account and seeing uh, some of the strengths and weakness that you got on it, right? So when it comes to, you know, your your main sets of runes, you know, which sets, you know, which rune sets are you looking for and what types of runes do you got available in the 246 slot? Do you actually have a fair amount of slot six HP runes uh, that are really, really good or are you lacking in the department? Or do you have yourself not too many crit damage runes that can use a little bit more love when it comes to the reaps here? for some of those uh, damage dealers you look at a bill, you know, a, a couple of things that you could take a look at here, but overall taking a look at where you're at, where you're sitting at with regards to your main slots, those two, four, six slots um, is very, very important. I don't want you to jump into this and just being like, oh, I just got a new rune. Let me go and get into it. Like take a look at account, see which runes you really need to do, which ones will benefit you the most uh, potentially when it comes to improving your account here. So, uh, and then of course, when you're looking at those runes uh, that you're looking to improve, you know, what did, what did they have available for you? Do they have uh, innates available for you or not, right? When it comes to these runes that have the innates, uh, those are gonna be the big, big targets that we're gonna be going for. Why is that? Because when we have those runes with the innate stat, of course, this is not a rune that we're gonna be using, but just to showcase for you, when we have that innate stat that we have uh, in this rune per se, that's gonna be one less stat you have to worry about when it comes to your main four statue you're looking to reap here. So again, if you had something like this room with a speed innate, obviously that's not something you're gonna go with because speed is a high high type of uh, stat that we're looking to get, that we're looking to approve when it comes to reap in here. But if you have something, for example, accuracy or resistance or something that is essentially ungrindable, like a crit damage, those are gonna be you know good runes out there with those good reaps so that we can look for grindable stats that we can get on our main runes. But we have 84 reaps on this account here. So again, there's gonna be there's gonna be more there's gonna be more opportunities than not to try to invest into a rune uh and make it like super perfect. And that's one of the things that I want to point out right now for you when it comes to reviewing your account, see what you got, and you have a quite a handful of runes, make sure that you sprinkle a little bit across the board to try to improve your account because you would get so much more value out of making a little bit of improvements over the course of the time versus trying to spend 84 reaps on one specific rune. Okay. I I've I've been i I've, I've done it before. I've sat there with a hundred uh, ancient reaps. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm never gonna get an ancient reap ever again. So I might as well just just put it all into this one, even if it's not a you know uh, perfect rune to do right now. When I take a look at his stuff here, he has a fair amount of attack, defense. He has a uh, an accuracy resistance here, but he's he's lacking on on decent uh, decent slot, slot six HP here. Uh, and one thing that I want to point out here is when it comes to this rune, you're gonna be like, okay, well, try this. You just got done talking about the whole fact of like, hey the this the, you know innate versus innate you know work on the wounds that have the innate so you can you know have a better chance to do it well the reality of it is that he's hurting really bad for legendary hp uh runes that have really good stats here so i feel like we can make the argument to try to improve this one uh a little bit here and again we, we improvement of this one might be just getting somewhere in the vicinity of the same speed and actually two better percentage based uh stats to be get improved so i feel like this is going to be a good target to hit uh considering what he currently has here so let's go ahead and try this one a little bit Let's see if we can get outrageously lucky. Funny enough, funny enough, this is actually not really that much better, but there is potential uh, in the right. I'm gonna grab this one for now. I'm actually gonna try uh, a few more times here. I'm probably gonna try like, you know, five more times into this one. We'll see if we can get something decent. Um, but yeah, we definitely want, we definitely want obviously a fair amount of speed. We want those defense percentage. Um, you know, if we can get ourselves maybe accuracy or maybe HP, HP, HP flat. No, we don't want, but we want, we want this percentage based stats here. Uh, yeah, that's not going to fly. <laughs> Let's try. What do we got here? We, we use three already. So I'm going to try a few more times. See if we can get lucky. Oh man. No, that's not going to fly. That's not going to be good enough. Yeah. That's not going to be good enough here. Those are some, those are some nasty rolls here. Those are some nasty rolls. And funny enough, one of the things that I want to talk about as well is actually we're going to land it once we find it here. So, uh, ugh. 
Yeah, again, not too not too great here. Let's see. I think we started at 84. So let's try one more and then we're gonna move on to another one here. Unfortunately, it's not uh you know, we weren't we weren't too lucky on this spot here, but uh, it's all good. Like I said, we'll try some other some other ones right now. This goes down to another one of my tips here. I think this is the fourth tip, technically the yeah fifth tip, but I'll go ahead and drop it right now because I just remembered that this was here. Uh, take a look at this, guys. If you will see here, uh, this rune right here is a hero rune, right? But there is a fair amount of speed on the four slot here. So as you guys know, hero rune comes with three subsets. So basically, taking a look at this rune. I can already tell that this person, because of the fact they were lacking on HP stuff, basically what I was able to, you know, figure out, you know, uh, when I took a look at this account, um, is that, yeah, he's, he's hurting so bad on the HP percentage ones that he went out of his way to grind out a reap, basically a purple rune, uh, which way, like I said, you wouldn't be able to do this, uh, unless you reapped it and had, you know, you know, basically got, you know, some good rows here. So again, while this rune turned out for him, and this is probably one of his better, uh, best runes, if not his best HP slot six rune, this is something I encourage you guys not to do. We got to use this for educational content, right? Do never, never, ever, 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 ever use reaps on non legendary runes. You want to get the most value out of your reaps. You've got to save them for the legend grade. And again, to put another little tidbit in here, don't be so quick to drop your uh, reaps on the first, you know, rune you get, but you know, if, even if you don't have a lot of opportunities or a lot of options, really good options to do, save the reaps. They ain't going to go nowhere. Wait until you get yourself a fair amount of runes that you know will benefit your account the most, uh, so that you can have a couple of opportunities to hit it. As you guys know, we don't really get too lucky, uh, when it comes to this, but, uh, since we're on the topic of educational stuff, before we get into the rest of the reaps, uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is the speed runes, regardless of what, you know, rune type we're talking about here. Uh, speed runes, uh, you know, in the back of my mind, and I'm sure this is going to be the same for you guys. And when we think about speed runes, we're like, okay, well, I don't mind reapping legendary speed runes because, hey, uh, I don't have to focus on, you know, you know, going after that speed, right? The elusive speed that always evades us, right? Uh, well, the thing of it is, is that when it comes to the overall quality or the overall amount of stats you can get from a slot two speed rune, um, there's really not too much value loss, you know, looking at some of those blue or even purple runes. Uh, that have some decent substats that you pick up, you know, versus, uh, you know, investing into a legendary rune. Now, for me, there are some legendary runes that I've collected along the way that have good innate stats that allow me to get myself, you know, possibly for percentage based stats or grindable stats that I'm looking for. So I, I sometimes will go for it. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel like if you have a couple of runes that you want to hit it and you have an opportunity to, you know, invest into a slot six HP rune versus like a slot two speed rune. Um, considering the type of runes that you can get, you know, from a blue or purple rune and some of the uh, stats that you can pull if you get super lucky on those substats, I feel like the value, uh, the priority should be shifted um, onto those slot four and slot six uh, ones here. Uh, you, the, the runes that you can get from the slot two speed, the overall stats uh, is actually not too bad at all when it comes to those blue and purple runes that are off in here. Um, the defense and the accuracy here is actually not too bad at all. Oh, look at that. As I say defense, they just decided to drop some more defense percentage on this one. But yeah, um, we know that it's something that we're going to have to improve. And this is, obviously, it's not a rune that he uses because of the fact that the subset's not being too good. So hoping that we can improve it. Now, here's the deal. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so this right here, this is not like a triple speed rune here, but this is actually going to be a fantastic improvement for you, right? We got the high amount of critical rate. We got the flat HP. We got the speed. Um, again, what, what I would probably do here is I would take this rune uh, and I would probably grind out that resistance, uh, for a defense percentage here and just grind, you know, so, so I can have something grindable here so I can uh, grind up the speed, the flat HP and a defense percentage. I can't see any argument where you would say you would keep the resistance over the flat HP since the HP is grindable, but that, that's just my personal opinion. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you disagree with me, this is just how I would go about utilizing this room, considering what I've seen. Uh, on its counter. So it comes to your top three, which could potentially be swift violent will. Um, just kind of depends on your account. I, I generally put, like to put the emphasis more on will uh, than anything. And I think that's kind of weird for most people because, you know, a lot of people are like, hey, I got to I got to improve my violent runes. So I got to put my violent runes. So I, I get that. It makes sense. But remember that will, regardless of what runes you put on, right? Uh, if you're using despair, if you're using swift, you're using violent. Okay. Will is the number one uh, subset out there. That's the number one meta based subset out there. You're not, you're not going to make an argument for a specific, um, uh, a rune that provides some other kind of mechanic, unless that mechanic provides so much value to the unit that you're going to be putting on. Whereas will is super versatile. It's super flexible. This is one that you're going to be using in a lot of situations, because again, if you don't have the speed, uh, you, you look at a take turn two and you want to be protected here. So will wills are great. Wills are always uh really good, uh, targets to hit up here. So, so this one here, I mean, technically it's not, it's not too bad. 
it's not too bad at all. Um, you can make an argument for like a CR rune on this spot, right? You got the attack, you got the HP. Um, you would have to grind in the speed. I'd probably wait until you had a legendary speed grind to go ahead and get it in there and potentially get yourself like 15 speed on this. Um, but uh, it's not too bad at all. This is something that I would hold on to for now. Um, uh, you can make an argument to improve it down the road, but this is this is not too bad. Let's roll over. Uh, let me see what we got for for a slot two. Ooh, that is kind of nice actually. To be honest, is that legendary? I mean, we're not gonna we're definitely not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this one out here. But you must you must really need critical rate for this one here. Um, I guess depending on the unit that you're looking to bring, you can make an argument for atta attack percentage here as well. Uh, so you can get a little bit more efficiency out of it. Unless you, I mean, you must really need, you must really need critical rate on that. But again, you're not even using this rune. Oh my goodness. This would not be sitting, <laughs> this would not be sitting on my ear. So uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so only looking at the speed runes. Uh, again, nothing that screams that I would go ahead and touch it. But uh, let's take a look at this web. I believe I saw a couple of swift that I want to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So this is it. This might be the, this might, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of that. <laughs> this might be the one that uh, we finish off with here. So again, this is like a perfect scenario. Uh, slot six, HP percentage, Swift, right? You know, a lot of the support base units where we're going to be, we're going to be trying to get a decent amount of HP. There's really a situation. I can't, I, I can't even think about a situation where I would use a Swift set and, and like really make an argument to put like a defense percentage or, or something like that, unless that defense percentage rune had crazy amount of uh, subsets on it. But yes, we can make an argument to do this because of course we got the innate. Um, and even though that innate technically is grindable, it's still an innate, it still gives us an opportunity to get what we're looking for on that uh, slot, which is uh, which is speed, right? We're looking to hunt for speed here. So if we can get it right out of the, oh my God, that's so sick, man. Wow, it's just that easy. It's just that easy, okay. <laughs> okay, and again, did you guys see me kind of freak out a little bit? Um, because I've been having some audio issues lately. So like, I feel like even though I have my noise gate all set up the right, you know, the audio mix and stuff like that, for whatever reason, it's been cutting out lately, but Hey, this, this is what I'm talking about here. Okay. This is, yes, we got two flat sets here, but we're never, you're never going to sit here in a situation where you're going to be like, okay, let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and, and, uh, you know, just not get it right. Because we need more speed. I, I think for this account, it's going to be fantastic, right? We can get upwards of 26 speed on this. And again, we got some flat sets that we can look to improve. Um, and depending on what you value as far as your crit rate goes, I honestly would probably get rid of that uh, critical rate and keep those other flat stats here and bring in defense percentage so I can be that that much more tanky here. So it's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Again, this is just my personal opinion on how I go about tackling stuff. I just wanted to address the five uh, tips that I have for you that you definitely need to know. If you have any more tips out there for, uh, for Light as well as anybody else out there in the community, Please feel free to leave in the comment section down below. I'm all about, you know, balancing my ideas between one another so that we can help the uh, community grow and basically not do what Light did, <laughs> which is rehab here. Oh, sh shaking my head, shaking my head. So, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy, Childish, Childish Boys. Check it out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.